First game that Manchester City will go into since April 2017, where they're not favourites to win. Um, would you ever bet against your team? Well, being in February in Anfield, we never won except once with a COVID time. There was no people there, so nothing changed much, I would say. Yeah, of course we are not. So now we didn't prove for the recent games, and especially for the other one. But that is not the point. When I played this my career, when they play in Barcelona with these extraordinary players and with Ferris, Ferris never thought about it give me an extra boost or I'm going to start the game for 1-0 or we're going to play better. We have to perform, you have to read what you have to do and, and see what happens. And you mentioned earlier about the dominance of your team over the last seven or eight years. Do you think that Rival fans, rival clubs are actually enjoying seeing this struggle that you're in at the moment. Obviously. But that's normal in a sport. When it's in good sense and you take it to peace and they are laughing, you defeat, that's normal. So we need respect and, you know, it's not a gap to the violence and, and this kind of stuff and respect that. It's part of the, you know, how nice is football, you know, the people can laugh of you when when it's not going well. But a part of that, I know how we behave internally. Me as a manager, like a spokesman of this club every three days, and especially the players, how we behave in the good moments. We prove we were an exceptional club. We celebrated, but not much. We respect the opponents and what is we have done it. And that I would say that this is one of the things I like the most in the good moments, how we behave. And now it's the other part for this period. We are in November and many, many. And after Anfield, you have another one, three days after another one, another one until the end. In the right moment, the club, myself first and the club, will take a decision that you have to take to maintain the club for many years to come. And I, say, and I want to be here. I ask, you know, to be here to try it. Hi, Pat. You, you mentioned looking for solutions, but you've got very little time on the training ground at the moment. Do you have to sort of simplify your solutions to the problems because you occasionally get in one day a week on the training ground with two games and obviously a lot of injuries? Or, you know, how, do, how are you going about it to create those? Or is there a risk no, of just practice it? and remember, like, during seven, eight, nine years, years we have done it. So we don't do nothing special, analyse the club, the team. Fay Norway try to analyze what they're doing, and against us they play completely different. What they have done it all the season, adapt and and do the normal things that we have done for many years. Of course, I said many times there have to be sentences and and try to do it. You not when you're looking at solutions, have you come up with anything that you thought actually that doesn't work and not actually made it out onto the training ground? Have you sort of you know changed your thinking at all? at some point and realised to go back to the more simple ideas. Thinking, think, change, change. Yeah, if you thought of like really changing things but then realise that actually that would be a bit dramatic. No, yeah, I can change but I have to feel it. I'm not saying to do, I change, listen, when, when in the past said I, over, I was overthinking it's because I was changing, right? And it's because what I do it is because I believe that is the best for that moment for the players that they have at my disposal or in that moment for many reasons that they have to do. But if I change it's because I believe in something, not because I know the audience says something different. So I know my players perfectly, I know the situation, I think I know the Premier League. And if I want to change, I have to convince my players to do it. I would not say because it's no guarantee. So I proved many times, I said many times that in the first season when I arrived in Bayern Munich, when I arrived after travel for Jum Henke, they say, why should change, you know, with you playing that situation, doing that? But always I move what I feel in my heart, in my guts, and I go there. So, and it's the same feelings as, uh, you know, these arguments, uh, as a winner, as a genius, and when they happen, sounds, you know, the smell, and the perfume is not good enough, you know, right now. So, but I have to live for my conscious for my knowledge about my team or the Premier League, the opponents, and to be honest with myself, knowing that sometimes it doesn't work, but we will work tomorrow. Hi, Pep. This is obviously a very different challenge to what you're, what you're used to, what you've had here. Is there a part of you that's enjoying this, trying to find solutions, that's enjoying the fact that it's something different, enjoying the fact you're having to, to come up with something different and, and find... I don't enjoy it all. 
I don't like it. I slept not as good as I slept when I won every every game. But that doesn't mean I don't have to do it. So I said, yeah, those I think these two shall pass, and and I don't know when, but you know, life is nothing is eternal, not even our life. So you have to have. I I am, when I face this kind of situation, I, I think honestly, for deep of my heart, so that is normal. This is normal. Maybe not in these five games, you know, or 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 whatever, or three games in the Premier League losing, and you you know that. Uh, but maybe it's more unusual to win four Premiers in a row, right? So in that moment, I was stable enough. I was not. I was happy because I eat better, live better. But I was not thinking different than who I am. So I'm the same person in the four Premiers in a row and in that situation. I have the same doubts in that moment. What we have to do to the next? What do I have to do? Be careful on this. Be careful on that. And now I want to be more closer to the players. My hugs and my arms are closer than them because I know they are suffering. I know they are in the stable for many things. I know how they, oh God, how is not able to win that game against Feyenoord, for example? You know, why you don't score the four minutes? And, and, and although when we had the chance to score against the Spurs or against the other one and after Kunsi 2, felt like, what can I do? And they suffered. What can I do? Blame them? Absolutely not. I'm here sitting, extend the contract, it's thanks to them. Like we won all the time in Barcelona by Munich, it's thanks to the players. And in the good moments, they have to be more aggressive, to be compliancy, to be relaxed. And now they, wow, they want to do it, but we are not, we are not finding the, you know, the, the the right way to do it. But always we think, you know, we are the same. All the players that we have, 60, 70, or 70 percent, or 80 percent, the players that gave us the last three, four Premier Leagues in a row, it's three years later. It's four years later. I'm three years more. So people change, and we get old, and. The targets sometimes changing, and it's normal. It's normal. I said the previous ones. I will insist again. And even now, we start to try to win games for a long run, a long time. I had the same feeling. Sooner or later, should happen because nothing is. And the people say, "Yeah, it's the end of that." But maybe we are November. We see what happen until the end. But maybe what can I do? Cry for that. So we have to try to do it, don't stay long, many, many years without fighting for that. That is what we try to look for. You know, that is the best. Because lose games or lose periods, that one month bad of results, when we pay a lot, why should not be live? No, why should not happen with us? So this is the truth. Pat, um, the, the first question that um, Simon asked was um, about the confidence of the players. What about your your own confidence? Does you, does your confidence in yourself ever suffer? Do you ever ask questions of yourself about your own confidence? Um, confidence, no. On decisions, why it doesn't go well, go home and said, oh, what, what should happen if I took that decision or that player instead that player or that movement in that moment, my speech in the half time or I spoke after it should be, sh- sh- don't say anything. So. Yeah, but in the beliefs I would believe, I'm, I'm a stubborn, I would say. But of course, the decision, even when we won, you take a decision and it works, I said, oh, how good it was. Always I take pep, because sometimes it happens because it's happened, not because, uh, you know. We play in incredible games, I said many times. We won the Champions League final against Inter when the performance was not really good and we have been in semi-finals quarter-finals playing no exceptional beyond exceptional and we are out and we're losers and after we are the best team of the world always I was incredible balance in that opinions I know how my team play bad really bad I think I'm really good analyzing what the reason why it's happened right now the situations and of course it's going to help to change the turnaround winning games that's for sure. Just for the fact of winning, you know, everybody is talk to talk, and the players feel okay. We can do it again, and of course, it's what you have to do. Just, just one last thing. You, you talked just before about how people change and people get older. We all get older. How have you, how have you changed? You think? I mean, I'm thinking particularly in regards to say your intensity, the intensity with which you approach the job. Has that changed? No. no, 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 I don't think so. 
still have passion, still I stand up in the morning to see, OK, going to prepare the training, the game plan from Liverpool, the way they defend, the way they attack, what you have to do, you have two days for that, continue the same. So I, I would say war more because when the situation goes more, go comfortable, OK, you can relax a little bit in that moment. The fact that maybe it's not good, you know, <laughs> to maybe you should relax a little bit. But no, I'm I'm the same, yeah. But I will not be here. I will extend the contract one week ago, ten days. I, I'm incredible honest with that. I was listen. I was in Barcelona. That today is 125 anniversary for my I would say club when I was born and and I was there and and four years, 14 titles. To 19, and I had Messi, the best player ever. Neymar was coming, and, and I said, I'm leaving. So, why, people ask, you know, why you are leaving? Your hometown with this uh, generation of players, Xavi, Iniesta, Puyol, all the players that changed the world, World Cups, European Cups, and it's not necessary to tell how they played the finals, that guys, and, and I left. I felt it. He is the same, if I can, because I feel it. I, I'm not sitting here just for what I've done or for. You know, for it's because I still I'm happy. I still I wanna I wanna try. But the moment is going to happen. I don't want to stay in the place like I feel I'm a problem. I don't want to stay here because the contract is there. The, my chairman knows it, and I I said to him, give me give me the you know give me the chance to to you know to to try come back and and especially when everybody come back and have to see what happened and after he is not able to do it after we have to. You have to change, you know that because of course nine years are dead. But I never asked to, you know, to stay. But more than ever, I asked to my higher kid, lead me the chance. You know, it will be easy for me now. Mm -mm. It's not going well, but I don't want now. I I had the feeling that I still I have job to do, and I want to do it. I want to do it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.